I literally remember everything. It's something that you really don't ever forget. It was an appalling tragedy. 35 people lost their lives on these bleak moors when a plane crashed into Winter Hill. 50 years ago, in heavy fog, a Silver City Airways flight from the Isle of Man to Manchester smashed into the side of this hill. In terrible weather conditions, local people tried to rescue the few survivors. I could feel myself being propelled into the air, but I didn't know anything else until I recovered consciousness out in the deep snow. I was lying completely flat. It was absolutely shocking because it was so foggy up there. I couldn't see anything, couldn't see any buildings. I didn't know where we were. Today, survivors, rescuers and relatives of the victims came together half a century on to pay their respects at the site of the disaster and here at a church beneath the hill. It was my first flight after training and because it was only a short flight, only one air hostess is necessary on a trip like that. And uh, so what an initiation. It was 9.45am on February the 27th, 1958. The Bristol Wayfarer plane was left scattered across the hillside next to the television masts that served the north of England. Staff from the TV centre helped rescue survivors. When we got to the crash site, the plane had broken into two main sections. There were many bodies lying in around the area and uh, our job came down to searching for those who were showed any signs of life. The disaster was only days after the Munich air crash. It sent shockwaves across Greater Manchester and the people living in nearby Horwich found themselves at the centre of a major incident. I'd never been up close to a, a, a dead body, let alone those with horrific injuries. There was a, something to do, you had to try and help and I suppose uh, you just got on with the job and help people. I'm very pleased that I managed to get here because it's nice to be in with all these people that, and a lot of them helped up there at Winter Hill and we appreciated that because we needed a lot of help up there. David Henry, Channel M News.